It like your word, your time, all that bit. <laughs> the, the letters. Now you a fucking stranger Weight of the world on my shoulders Don't care about being famous I got the game in the head Locked ready by the anchor You better not run up on me wrong Like put your life in danger Run around with Trace in the trunk Like that the grass is single Just trying to show all my niggas The vision that I'm paying They don't keep it real no more This shit here got me thinking So tired of niggas doing whole shit Instead of getting lame up My strong, I love you my nigga Forever you my angel Don't really go around the fam Cause they be switching up See my grandma in a minute, probably won't even hug her Folks just want me for what I got, ain't help me through the struggle Just stay away and keep your distance, them folks don't really love you I love that nigga cheat to death, he like my blood brother His folks ain't never did me wrong, his mother my mother Sometimes I feel he all I got Play with him, I bust you. Came from the sandbox with this shit, so we really been thugging. I got this shit straight out the mud, got it out the gutter. No, I can't forget about DV, that my fucking brother. I keep real niggas in my circle, and you won't find another. And if a nigga talking crazy, I send oh, YG to her. And welcome to the B Safe Podcast. I am your host, B Cooks. Man, and I am joined by a young man, Trey Stroh. That was his track. We just played True Story. Welcome to the building, my brother. What's going on? No matter what man, I'm good, dog. Uh, how are you? Good, man. Yeah. That's, that's what's up. How's the family? Everything yeah, good. That's what's up. That's what's up. And I don't want to forget about everybody else that is in the building. Shout out to Libra coming back through. Seriously. You know what I'm saying? Jizzle. Right. Oh. RDSU. Shout out to Runner Sack Up. You know what I'm saying? Everybody. Welcome. Welcome. I hope all of y'all are doing all right. Oh, yeah. What about yourself? Man, I can't complain, dog. I can't complain. The family's good. You know what I'm saying? My daughter's good. That's all I can ask for right there. Oh, yeah. So, um, so anytime I sit down with anybody, right, I always want to make sure I get to know them. You know what I'm saying? I know you make music, but that's just part of you. That's yeah. one small piece of you. You know what I'm saying? So, um, with being here, I'm assuming your name is Trey? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So, um, are you originally from Augusta, born and raised? Yeah, born and raised, yeah. Okay, okay. Where'd you go to school at? Uh, shit. Kindergarten through A. Shit, I was going I attended uh college. I had no um went to goddamn East Augusta like a year of my middle school time, but I went right back to goddamn college. When I went to high school, I went to Laney though. Okay, okay. Another Laney product. I'll go ahead and shout out to everybody from Laney, cause you know, um, you know, Verl Max sat down with me the other day. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Shout out to uh Love yeah. Class United. You know what I'm saying? So um with, with your come up, man. So what was it like growing up, uh, going to Laney? You know, growing up in that area. Cause uh, what's that? Three hundred nine hundred one. You know oh, what I'm saying? Yeah. What see, was it like? See, I was originally supposed to go to Joseph, really, cause I'm from Fifteenth Street. I'm okay. Sunset, really. So I was really supposed to go to Joseph, but you know how they go. Like mom, do say want me to go leak up, boy. Yeah, so, yeah, see, for sure. Shit, I had to went to Laney. 
I had and got down, started getting into the sports shit a little bit. What, what, what sports you was hooping? Nah, I wasn't really fucking with basketball like okay. that. I might have started playing basketball like in high school, like learning type yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, just picking but it up type shit. I just ain't like that shit. Yeah, yeah, but it ain't for everybody. I fought with it. I was just okay. a little tough ass little nigga. We did that shit all day in the hood. Yeah. So shit, I started trying to shit out, but I wasn't really focused. Mm-hmm. So. I couldn't give it my all. Now, when you say you weren't focused, what you mean? What was you distracted by? My neighborhood. The street. I mean, it be like that shit. My neighborhood. So when you, when you, would you say you got off the porch? Uh, man. I fought right. <laughs> hey, don't lie. Oh, uh, how was it back? Seven, eighth grade, right? I know my mama gonna see this shit and bust out laugh. <laughs> I'm in the hood. I'm just cool. I got me some little money. So I say, shit, I see one of my partners go get a tattoo. Yeah. I say, ooh, I'm finna go get me one. But, you know, I'm thinking like the tattoo I'm finna get. Shit, I'm finna get a recipe maestro tattoo. She yeah. gonna say, nah, she ain't gonna trip. Man, I fought right when he got the jet, right? But I tried to throw little hints at her about it, but she was like, I was like, oh yeah, she ain't fucking with that. So I hid it for a little minute. Man, she fought around. I fought around and got down, lacked and got down, posted a picture with my shirt off. Oh shit, that's how I, that's how we get caught every time. Get caught sneaking. Man, she done seen a damn tattoo. Boy, that boy, she gave my ass the boot. Man, matter of fact, speaking of that tattoo, is that the same one you showed in the video? I think, cause I think you. Uh, I got it covered up, actually. Oh yeah. I had got that jank covered up, cause it was really like some doodle shit, like a nigga in the hood just doodling on a nigga and shit. Yeah, man. yeah, yeah. So, I got that ugly shit covered up. I ain't gonna flip, boy. When I was in high school, man, look, little do niggas know I was on that skipper school shit out here in the street. You know what I'm saying? Trying to, trying to make shit shake. Yeah. Even though I ain't had to. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like some. people. Some people may think like, oh, man, why was you doing that shit? Because, yeah. you know what I'm saying, I ain't necessarily had no, no guy. I wasn't yeah, struggling, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, I wasn't in a situation where I needed to do that shit, but it was like, for me, you know what I'm saying, just getting off the porch came with like, my shoe my shoe side got too big. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Pops, moms and pops was like, bro, them shoe cost too much for you to want them bitches every week. Boy, speaking of that, I can tell you my last pair of shoes, my mom bought. Jordan, the 2011 Concord. Oh, shit. That's when what we had, 2021, damn, man. <laughs> it was over boy, I ain't gonna lie to you, boy. <laughs> she was like, hey, you, you shut dead. that shit down, nigga. You dead. Oh, it. So, you know what I'm thinking? Boy, I gotta keep getting these jays. Yeah, we gotta get some. Hey. Okay. I ain't care what I had man, to do. Man, boy, my dude stood on that shit, boy. She ain't providing nothing but a hot meal in the roof. And you said that was shit. How early was that? Boy, uh, 2011. Cause you, so I was uh, I was finna get ready to go to high school. Okay, okay. Oh, that's when you said like seventh, eighth grade around mm-hmm. that time. And what's crazy, you know, I met you know I met Jizzle around that time, eighth grade. That tell me, bro. Yeah, and yeah. Then I'm talking about I was square, nigga, bro. <laughs> For real, bro. I was square, bro. I'm talking about Afro braces, nigga. I can respect like that, bro. Our pops was in chain gang, shit like that, bro. Like we had our big brothers and shit had to be our daddies and shit. Yeah. Trey, Trey have a big brother, so he ain't had no daddy. You know? And I ain't even gonna flex, bro. Tubman was an environment I wasn't used to, bro. You know what I'm saying? I had to yeah. adapt, bro. CJ, but real shit, just one of the first niggas yeah, fuck with me for real, just just cause. You know what I mean? And I and I applaud him for that to this day, man. I was telling Libra about that shit. Yeah, I, I really. Like shit, man. I had really just I started adapting to that project, but I I was so private, cause I ain't want them folk to know what the hell I had going on. Yeah, yeah. I mean, so, cause shit, niggas is young. Like, it's like I had my daddy, but I didn't because 
Once I start doing certain shit, mm-hmm. I avoided them. Right, right. I avoided my mama, so I couldn't really say that they won. Yeah, it was really me. I mean, but I, I, yeah, so I can understand. I mean, but man. Turned out to be alright. Yeah, yeah. So and uh, I don't fault them at all. I love my mom and my dad. Man, look, we only get one. Yeah, we only get one. You know what I'm saying? I got both of them too. You know, so and that's that a blessing. Them. You know what I'm saying? And we got to give each and every one of them our love and they flowers while they here. You know what I'm saying? Because can't nobody feel that shit when they gone. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. So, I mean, j- just to move forward, right? So after high school, what 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 was life like? Did you um, did you honestly, attempt to maybe like see really? Um, that football shit was over for over for me. Like, shit, I couldn't play everything from a freshman year to senior. Year, that shit hadn't caught up with me. Mm-hmm. I wasn't on track. So right, shit, man, that shit just it was over it really. Like we were finna get ready for the goddamn scrimmage game, and them folk told me, "Hey, yeah, no with it. It. so." No, that drew me to back. Fuck it. Yeah, I got I got more so, time on my hand now. I ain't finished. I ain't even finished. I stayed out for about a year or two. Then I went back and graduated though. I mean I shit. went back and finished that bit. I was like shit, I owe her that. So I went back and did that shit for really. Well, not even for myself, just for her though, really. I mean shit. Either way you got it done. You know what I'm saying? It don't matter how long it takes, it got done. You know what I'm saying, and that's and I can respect it. So, at what point did you end up uh, running into this man, uh, Jizzle? Honestly, bro, that nigga been my family. Shit, I was avoiding his head too. <laughs> you want to be technical? <laughs> was bro, I ain't want nobody to tell me the right thing to do, bro. Yeah. At all. I mean. We be young, stubborn, you know what I'm saying? So, y'all related? Bad boy. Blood can make us closer. Mm. I hear that. So, how, I know I'm a little older. So, how old are you? I'm 22. Oh, man. Man, you got a lot of life ahead of you, my brother. Yeah. And that's really my goal to, like, show nigga, boy, hey, boy, it's cool to die old. I want to be a yeah, cool ass daddy, goddamn. Yeah. You feel me? For real, cool for real, for real, man. That's what's up. You got a lot of life ahead of you, man. So, at what point did um did, did music become a part of your life? I, I my life really music. I can say music control my life. I can I base my life off of music. Like I lived off music. I was like, hey, I used to goddamn freestyle. Well, no cap, boy. I got some partners. You at my partner this shit from back in the day, man. There's no lie. I used to freestyle out of all the songs for beats on YouTube. I mean, shit. <laughs> but I was hard, though, right? Yeah. So I just used to start writing shit. But when I started trying to play that football shit, mm-hmm. I had um, f- said, fuck that. Right. But I finished school. I was really lost. When I did graduate, I was still kind of lost. I had to grab me a little job and shit. I had to got in some trouble. Mm-hmm. So I had to lay back. But shit, I was like, man, I got to go down and do something. My little brother and them, like, I got, my little brothers was rapping. Like, they still rap hard. Oh, I'm going to uh, tune y'all in with them. Stunts. Check them out. Oh, yeah. Ch- shout them out. They, shoot. They on the way back. But, goddamn, they were rapping. But, you know, they'll be getting ready to go to the studio. Would they be freestyling? Big bro, goddamn. Yeah. Goddamn. Right, get on him. the track, shoot. One day, goddamn, we sitting at the game. He said, well, let me let you hear something. He, he, he rapped something too. Hold on. How long ago was this? It was like 2018. 2018. God. Bruh, it was crazy. When I started seeing Jizzle coming out, I was like, bruh, I did not know this man rap, bruh. Yeah. I was like, bruh, we, we done chopped it up by shoe, clothes, this, that, and the third, rah, rah, rah. You know what I'm saying? And at no point did he say, bruh, I rap. But it, it was a shock for me too. I just you, you know, know what I'm saying. You be fresh so the fact that, that you I'm say like, 2018, I'm like, hold on, he was encouraging you to rap, and I did. Yeah, like, but what? I still want. Like, I had. I'm talking about. We had a basketball game though. Doing it now, like, 
These niggas who like I couldn't even. But we and like he he so I rocked something to him. He ain't say nothing. The brother came back to me. Is like, would he, would he hit you with one of these? Hear me good, nigga. I'm here to double down. That <laughs> shit is a, a two-pack of ass. So, did he say shit? The fuck are you talking about? So, that shit stinks. So, goddamn. I say, ah, oh, shit. These niggas trying to get me in here now. Yeah, look. I, look, because he ain't say nothing in my mind. Man, I'm like, did he think he was trash? These niggas book a session. Oh, okay. That means he done, he done made you come through. He just throw me in there. I slide. Very first time? I slide bad. They said, boy, you can't stop. I said, mm. man, fuck that shit. And it's funny you say that. Um, because when really my first time really like spending some time on your music was today, right? Because I always want to make sure I do I do my homework before anybody get here. You know what I'm saying? And and to me you sound extremely polished to be so new to rapping. Yeah, cause shit, when they when I did that. I had done left it alone now, like, fuck it. This nigga came around again. So I was like, why does this nigga keep coming around, man? This nigga. I mean, it sounds like you might have <laughs> did the right thing. I'm like, why? Does, I keep avoiding the nigga, but I still keep running into him, so this nigga around again. Fresh as hell again. So let's go to the studio. I said, shit, bro, I gotta go get me some money, bro. I gotta. Yeah. You don't never wanna kick it with your big brother, man. Shit, you know, goddamn, I'm just getting to run around. Then it just came to a point where, like, shit. And you got down, see what's going on, so shit. We had and got down, built a little bond up. So I started just going crazy. We started going getting consistent. Going to the yo consistently. But every <coughs> morning I wake up, beats playing, I'm riding every beat. Yeah. That that's just how I practice. All and you day. a freestyle? I freestyle all day. I rap all day. Man, I'm talking about Marvin Gaye. Well, man, you put it on sliding. I mean, and, and, and that's, that's how I perfect it. So when I go in the in the booth, it just brr. get it done. And that's I, crazy, man. Not too many people hop in the booth the first time and and it be and it be natural. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about no yeah, mo ain't none of that. You ain't got to tell me nothing. I'm in there. Let's go. I'm finna make you turn up and oh hell yeah, that nigga that ain't bullshit. Right. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. Shit, how many tracks y'all done made together? <laughs> hey, man, boy, I can say just not eat probably from April. Nah, I say, yeah, April to now, bro, probably. But we probably got a hundred songs, boy. <laughs> but that's crazy. I'm talking about just doing it. Yeah. But I probably got a hundred solos, and he probably got a hundred solos. <sighs> you say you know he did a hundred songs in twenty twenty. Man, well, shit. To, if you got a hundred together and a hundred solo, shit, that sounds like two hundred to me. Boy, this look like a contact list. God damn, what the fuck, Mm-mm. man? Hey, we all in twenty twenty one with this shit though. You feel me? So okay. So so just to just just to bring it forward, right? When when did you when did you decide? Okay, I'm gonna make a project because I know, you know, um, I'm not a role model. It, was that your first project? Yeah, that was just my test run. Okay, so um, at what at what point was you like, okay, I'm finna got them take this shit serious. I'm finna make something happen for real. Shit, niggas got they been making me with their fucking mouth. <laughs> Oh fucking weak. Shit, I be fresh. Yeah. Shit, I'm silent. I ain't never read it. Yeah. Shit. It, it, you said you be sly. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> shit, I fit the description. Yeah. I'm and in you, it for the right reason. And you and you live it sound like you living with you rapping because it don't sound don't none of that shit sound fabricated. Nigga you know what I'm saying? Because you be boy. storytelling for real on the low. Nigga got a real story, boy. And and that's what I did notice, man. It sound like you got a um a little bit of pain in it. Yeah, yeah, boy. You know what I'm saying? That shit made me though. For real, for real, like. Uh, uh, tell me about some of that, or what you can tell. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm not here to, you know, say something we can't say. Well, I'm pretty sure everybody always mention, see me mentioning this dude named Stro mm -hmm. on everything. Like, see, my name Trey. 
Yeah, because I see, but, you know, you got strong on the end. My own brother, my uncle, uh, he got killed in 2003. Like, that was my dog. Mm. Like, shit. I was like, that nigga son. Like, boy, me and this nigga look just alike. Like, this nigga my dad or something, but we were so close in that little bit of time. I knew right. exactly who that man was. And then, you know, like, my daddy was in prison and shit, so that was my daddy. Mm. He got killed. So shit, like the older I got, bro, I started looking more and more like the nigga, bro. Mm -hmm. So then people tell me like, "Well, you, act, you remind me of your uncle, boy. You act just like your uncle." So I started molding my life off for really. So I was like, man, boy, this is a way to keep my dog. And I ain't gonna lie. And so when that's I did where the, that, that's where the trade stroke so came from. So many of his, like, so much of his love just came to me, like, yeah. Damn, this that little nigga who. So shit. I mean, so you carrying a legacy with the name? Yeah, was, you with that nigga? <laughs> I mean, that's what's up, man. Shut up. Hey, you that nigga, boy. That's what's up. So, in in um, now I'm not I'm I'm not sure on dates now because I know um, I'm not a role model was your first tape. And that so, was it, uh, Jay Weird. I had to drop that gen in January sometime. Uh, twenty twenty. Yep. Oh shit! So we doing two projects uh, now. See, see that on my test run. Nah, right? I don't, don't want to say. I want to speak too soon. Nah, I ain't had anything a hundred. Like, like that was in my test run. I'm gonna remove that. What I'm dropping this month. Remove it. Yeah, because I don't want nothing. Off. It, it just was me getting comfortable. Really. I mean, ain't that part of the the like the fans? You, you can know, do your growth with the. <laughs> With the music? Yeah. But you know, it's more of a business thing now. So. Okay. So you want to, I mean, if, just to be simple, you, you want to monetize your your effort. Yeah. I don't really want to got down nothing to backfire on me in the end. Understand. So Understand. Now, Ownership is we key. Got all the way to the business part, you know, leasing, leasing beats, paid for beats and all that. Everything we drop, not paperwork, everything legit. So this tape right here. It's the beginning of what's now really you, good. Now, I see you getting some traction now. Like, I noticed, now, mind you, I'm not saying necessarily niggas got millions of views, but mm. compared to the to the average hey. local rapper, for you to be 12 hey, months in. Hey, this little man, I ain't going to lie. I could not get 100. I could not get 50 likes on Instagram earlier this year. Mm. I swear to God. That's crazy. That was my main goal, building that Instagram. Up. Yeah. Building that Instagram up. Now I'm just building them followers. I'm, I got like because I mean yo, even numbers. your YouTube traction is good to yeah. be to be yeah. you know so so new in my personal opinion because I know people that have been rapping way longer than you. Man, you might who not can't get me. you know what I mean? I made all my own cover art. Man, I promote that shit. Like I just sit and man, think talk about your shit, bro. Man, I talk. just sit and think about like what the fuck, man. Man, he, he said he been rapping twelve months, Libra. He said he made his own cover art. He said, he, then you say you made the the uh, the vlog video we watched. Yo, I, come on, man. Made that bit too. Every video he, every track he got got at least a band on it, don't it? Am I am I tripping? Man, look, get niggas they flowers, bro. Man, look, if anybody gonna talk them shit, I'ma talk it for you. Ten yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you put that project together, and you said that to you, that's that's just a, a throwaway. You know what I mean? So, yeah. what what what's coming? What what's up next? Hey, I know y'all been. Oh my God, they've been going crazy over them trillers. I've been dropping, teasing the hell out on. So now, all on um, one take dropping this month. Stay tuned. Now <sighs> you got a you got a you got a name for the project? Straight off the top. Mm. 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 Everything. Okay. You got a date? Christmas Eve. Okay, okay. Christmas Eve, the new project is coming. Be on the lookout for that. You know what I'm saying? Because, uh, okay, that's a, okay. So what made you pick that day? I let them pick because I've been goddamn giving them the runaround. Mm. So what do you mean by you let them pick? So the the fans that said, okay, yeah, give, us, give it to us on this? And shit. Oh, he and took a poll. Okay, I took. I, I was taking a few polls on Instagram like a couple of days. Then, goddamn, I was like, goddamn, reposting it and posting it. 
What 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 y'all want? When y'all want it on? And you know, it, it's man, that, date, the holiday. The fact that you figuring it out with that social media and being able to get so much traction on the on the YouTube so early, that's that's good. Like the the. The tre treadmill is rolling. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and then you yeah. got people like Jizzle next to you, you know what I'm saying, who has grown so much over the last two years as an artist. You know what I'm saying? And I applaud him for his work, man. Every time I turn around, he talking about working. You know what I'm saying? Going to the yo. And and I love hearing that from each and every one of y'all that I sit down with. That, that let me know y'all not sitting on y'all ass expecting somebody to That's give it to club. you. You know what I'm saying? That's why I club, man. I pop bottles in the yard. I smoke gas at the yard. Right. Shit. That's my club. Man, <laughs> it look, hard work pays off. I wish I could host that bitch. I'd give him a show every goddamn night. Cause boy, That's what got, I'm talking about. Boy, boy, you see this energy when you in there with that boy? Anybody coming there just... Because, man, look, it, and what's crazy is that the fact that we're sitting here today is great because we've crossed paths at least... I want to say at least three times before sitting here today. Yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying? And I really didn't know. I mean, I, I may have guessed you rap. You yeah. know what I'm saying? <laughs> until you know, until we got to the photo situation. Yeah, you know quiet what I'm saying? As hell. Right, right, right. But but what's crazy is each and every one of y'all that I respect so much that I've sat down with. Each and every one of y'all move the same, in, in, but in your own way. You know what I mean? It, no slime KD same way I've encountered them many times and we you know what I'm saying it's almost like everybody feeling they you know what I'm saying filling things up before they really open up to a person you know what I'm saying that's it all love for it's sure really more of a family thing with us really and and that's what it's about like, and, that, and that's what I I respect with each and every one of y'all you know what I'm saying the love y'all y'all show each other is is something that uh that I gravitate towards a lot and then like my engineer like Well, it's so much Who's your engineer? Let's shout him out, shit. We hey, got to show these people love, love now. Classic Studios on IG. Everything, Jorge Castillo, man. That's the man behind all this shit. Like, Cause, uh, and, and like I said, you sound extremely polished. Man, he made me you know believe You know what I'm saying? Because I'm, I'm critical on niggas. Like, when I, it's, plenty of, it's plenty of artists locally that I, that come over here and be like, bro, just, just hear this shit. Let me know what you think. See, I ain't... When I went to him, man, I... I was recording some shit. You know, I think I got it all figured out. I'm about to walk out. He said, uh-uh, go do that again. But I see, said, you need right. people like that. Yeah, so, see, really, I met, that was my little brother's engineer, but I wouldn't never write. I'd just go catch their vibe. Mm. And I know he used to probably be like, boy, I want to do he rap, but I just used to vibe. And then, like, I come out of nowhere and he like, oh shit. So I done started rapping, but the bond we done built is so unbreakable. Like you would think we knew each other all my life. Like that's what's up. I mean, that's that's what you need though. That's what's gonna help develop your sound. And that's why you sound so polished to be so new to the game. But yeah, you need you need somebody like that that um that understands your sound yeah, yeah, to help you polish that and uh I'm trim the edges. Guy, I'm tough on myself, like, even when I, see, I ain't gonna lie, it was a point of time where I was really into football, like, mm -hmm. I was trying to get it right, but. So you was like. I um, couldn't get it right, but the coaches I had, I had my father, my father coaches. Mm -hmm. So, like, when they figured out who I was, they were like, they was trying to put so much into me, but I wasn't putting no effort in, so how the, how they gonna put effort in and I don't help. So, right. they kind of fell back from it, but they ain't give up, but I still wasn't giving them no effort at all, so. Man, but they were so fucking tough on a nigga, man. Oh, my God. I ain't going to lie. I can't tell you how it came out of the locker room, but shit, boy. Hey, boy, that shit, that built the nigga up, boy, for I real. I mean, but that's what make a man, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you gotta, yeah, boy, we were really, that shit was a real brotherhood in there. Yeah. For real. For real that's bro. what it's got to be. You know, so, like, so who are some of your musical influences, like, you know what I mean, as far as um, who you listen to? Uh, or see. maybe even grew grew up listening lie. to. I grew up listening to Soldier Slim, mm -hmm. Boosie, and Gucci, and Jesus. Okay. That's all I used to listen to. Then I started getting into so, Gotti later on. But okay. Those the main people I was listening to. So so who you who you get a W two on that Gucci Jeezy versus? See, I ain't gonna lie. I gotta get the Jeezy because 
how he handled business. Yeah. My walk playlist would have won that bitch. I ain't gonna lie. Cause my he shit go crazy. To me, he ain't played the stuff yeah, I would have. You know what I mean? Listen, boy, if they would have let me play that bitch, let me DJ, my nigga would have won. But Jeezy came with a more a different perspective. Like, on some grown man shit. Like, we paid that. So, I had, you gotta respect him on a different level. Yeah, for sure, for sure. So, who's in your uh, rotation now? Uh, my partners. Uh, I still <laughs> listen to all the old, all the old. Yeah. I, I I listen to more old music than new music, really. But I listen to my partners mostly. I listen to a lot of people in the city, though. I, I can. I like. I like. It. I like. I, it. I feel I mean, like. I just feel and like. And it keep you. It keep you. It keep you. Yeah. You know I what I'm saying? Cause I feel like, bro, they already done. Cause bro, I, I hate. Us, I hate when rappers. You know what I'm saying? Or people that start rapping or. Whatever you want to call it, they they call themselves artists, but they sound like everybody that they listen to. Like you can tell listening to them the first time, I can tell who you listen to in your yeah. car. You know what I'm saying? Man, I don't know. See, I I can't even tell you how I do it. I don't know where the hell this shit come from. I mean, but that's what <laughs> man, that's what make it yours, though. Boy, you know what I'm saying? Own sound, I got my own sound. But I got so many different sounds. Oh man, but. Cause I, I haven't heard, in my, in my personal opinion, I haven't heard a bad song yet. Man. And, and this tape right so here. how did you how did you end up getting plugged in with somebody like? Um, I'm gonna assume, you know, being that you know you fuck with Jizzle, Black Zach, or Trap for for the song uh, the the other song we played earlier. What's the name of it again? The Trap Back. Yeah, yeah. Shit, yeah, bro, just got down. He was in there recording, doing the jet. They had not heard me do a jet and got down. They were, they were fucking with it type shit. So, you know, we just got down. Just handled the business and then, you know, business was business. And then that bitch came out. That bitch straight though. That bitch hard. That's what's up. That's what's up. So, um, um, how did you end up meeting uh, Libra? Oh, man. I, I always used to see Libra a lot around the city mm -hmm. very often. But I never, but when, I, when me and Jills are finally linked all the way back up, but to Libra, and, you know, she invited us over to a vibe and it was all love. Like, it been, ever since then, it's been the same way. I mean, that's what's up, man. Shout out to Libra, man. Yeah, Libra. Yeah, shout out to Network. Shout out Fresco. Shout out to Culture Fest. You know what I'm saying? Um, that, that was it. For sure. For sure. And, and if you wasn't there, you missed it. You know what I'm saying? You missed out on the opportunity to be a part of something. Um, if you say you're part of the culture, you say you support black business. If you say you support these artists, ain't nothing better than seeing them on a on a real stage. Shit, you know what I'm saying? Because seeing them in the club, that that's not that's not the same. Because everybody can not the same. The you know what I'm saying? That's not the same. They, we, People will sit here locally, pay 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, whatever to get in the club, you know what I'm saying, and bring the city out in the club. But then when we get on the stage and had the opportunity to, to to really give people a show, we need the city to show up the same way. Tell you, man. Show the same support. I ain't gonna lie though. I can't say though. You, the music getting bigger in the city and you starting to see more support now. Oh, it's growing, of course. We're going to force it to grow. They're going to have to fuck with it. It's, it's growing they don't have a choice. Though. Some people blind to it, but yeah, they finna We're going to force them to see. Cause I'm trying to tell. What? They finna see us. For real, for real. I mean, look, each and every one of y'all, man, I, I, I know are going are going to um do great things. You know how much fucking music finna get released from everywhere? <sighs> man. And then look, just just make sure we monetize, ladies and gentlemen. I, monetize. Really, there's a lot of niggas that's finna drop, bro, and they don't feel like they seen, bro. Somebody see you, boy. Cause I'm looking. Cause people I watching. See you. Hell yeah, people bro. watching. Tune, Libra, we I talked about in. that earlier. Really people is watching. In, you never know who's watching. I be tuned. Cause I, I I listen to music for what people saying. I don't really care about the sound. Like I'm trying to see what you're talking about. So I be listening to the words. Like I, I be tuned in. That's all we can ask for, man. That means a lot. For real, for real. So, um, and you said, did you give me a date on a new project? You said the um Christmas Eve, right? Christmas Eve. You got a a, a time? My 
Drop that bitch at 12. Man, look, y'all need to be on the lookout for this shit, man. Boy. Make sure, man. They fucking with me. It, it, like, it was times I was like, man, I'm finna quit, but I had to think about, like, boy, look at how fast this shit grew. Like, boy, like. And then so the right, you got the right then, people around, they ain't gonna let yeah, you quit. Yeah, it just, I'm so damn hard on myself, boy. I, I be the same way. I go I in the same shell way. so damn quick, but now I see that shit, so. I be on some whole other shit now. On some Tasmanian devil shit towards it. Boy, I be going crazy. Like, I can't stop. I mean, that's like, that's what I like to hear, man. Full speed ahead. The, the foot on the gas. Hey, I, be, I ain't gonna count, though. You gonna know about, if you listen to my music, you gonna know about everybody I love. Cause I talk about everybody. Uh, and you, you speak a lot of, to me, you speak a lot of truth. You speak a lot of pain. Man, I put my barber in my song. Man, look. Nah, I speak about. I talk about you. <laughs> For sure, man. Look, and you and you got a lot of support. Man, you getting some quality videos done. Shout out to yeah, all the videographers yeah. on your video. You gotta invest in yourself. If you don't invest in yourself, how can they invest in you? For sure, because you, you gotta want it more than the people supporting. Yeah, you gotta. They you gotta want them to come at you more of an investment than just a. Let me see what I can do with them. You want them to help, but we need this guy like. You can be in control of that shit, then he might just be a lot better than him. So, what you got? What's the plan for 2021? Because okay, we at the uh, very end of the year, I'm you know drop, what I'm saying? You dropping dropping. a project on Christmas Eve, yep. you know what I'm saying? And then 2021 is right around the corner. So, what you giving us as soon as the, the new year hit? Um, Straight off the top, dropping Christmas Eve, right? And then I'm just dropping that tape because I pull on music so much this year. Because I was really just trying to make sure, man, I got to get it all the way right, man. That that one nit, yeah. And you got to have a lot of shit in the but tub. But that one right there. Boy, we, boy, we blood, sweat, and tears, like, behind that jet. For real, for real. Y'all going to see, but it's complete. So now, we full throttle to 2021. But our main goal now is singles, visuals, and promote the hell out of it. We already got music for 2021. You locked and loaded. I'm busy with dropping on New Year's. I told you, bro. I, saw, I told you your track, your your track library looked like my contact list in my phone. Man, that shit's cool. ignorant. And get what? I got it. I got man. I got so many fucking people music, bro. Like I really fuck with them fuck. I be listening to that shit. But now I just I rather see them drop it and I give them the number. Then get it now, so I be tuned in on the goddamn the streaming site. Okay, okay. And um, and before we get up out of here, what I want to make sure is, one, we give you your flowers while you're here. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? I appreciate, I appreciate the hard work. I appreciate you taking the time out, you know, to spend time with me here in, in, in my yo. You know what I'm saying? Um, And, of course, it sounds like you got a plan, which I can appreciate. And of course, like uh, like I tell everybody, we got to give you your flowers. You're here because niggas cannot feel that shit when they're gone. So let each and every one of these people that's tuning in, let them know where to find you at. You let them know where to listen people to you find at. Me on IG at uh, Trey Scroll. I'm gonna be on all platforms. You can type Trey Scroll everywhere. That's the only name you gonna see for this shit. Cause, hey, I gotta keep my dog name alive. So anyway, you type Trey Scroll at, you will find me on any platform. But my social media, I'm Trey Strong, IG, Trey Anderson on Facebook. I ain't too much longer finna have that Facebook, though. After this tape drop, I'm, I'm done with that book. It's just straight Instagram and Twitter and Snapchat. Okay, okay. Make sure you follow him, like, share, subscribe on all each and every one of these platforms, man. Be on the lookout you. for Straight Off The Top. Again, coming out Christmas Eve. He's up there. You know what I'm saying? And we're going all the way live in 2021. It's full speed ahead, ladies and gentlemen. And before we get up out of here, as always, lonely and scrolling, lonely and walk. If you see some bigger shit, boy, good love. This shit getting lost. Do it for them. If it ain't for nobody. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And as always, before we get up out of here, y'all make sure y'all be safe.